feeling good on a Wednesday. I am Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am Lord. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am Lord. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sleepy. I feel a little high right now. I just got off work, and I told you guys I'm gonna be doing this kinna, this kinna. So I'm gonna answer some of you guys' questions. I got about nah, 20 questions here. It was pretty good for three hours. Um, you know, whatever. That's pretty good. That's pretty, I, I was not expecting that many questions this quickly, and I like it. That's cool. Anyway, uh, how about we put on some music? Let's put on, let's put on an album here. I'm gonna go play one of my records. I might put on, uh, Asia by Steely Dan. This jazzy fucking relaxing background. That'll be nice little background noise for you guys. Alright, here we go. Let me find the record. That was a beautiful album. And we're going to listen to some cuts from it. Um, it's a pretty long album too, so I don't have to flip the record. Um, the first four songs on it, you know, it's pretty pretty lengthy little album, but it's really good. So let's uh, let's play this shit. Let's play this shit. All right, there we go. A little bit of atmosphere in here. It's jazzy. Mm -mm -mm. All right, here we go. <laughs> I was late for the last one, and I'm not going to miss this one, so I've copied and pasted all of my non-answered questions. That's good. I'm sorry you were late. God, this is a good album. Seeing another one of these cute videos may, made me think, what the hell, decided making one for my channel. Oh, I did answer this question last time. I tried to listen to your video, but I couldn't understand what you were saying, because I don't speak any Spanish. I remember answering this one. So taking this to account, yeah, I do feel like I have a have a influence on you guys. I answered this question in the hour long video. I remember I remember answering this question. Um, yeah, definitely uh, send me some uh, Spanish uh, speaking rock bands from your native homeland. I would love to check that out. I've heard of Los Lobos. I don't even know if they're Spanish or not, but I've heard of them. Um, so yeah, send me some bands that you'd like me to check out from your home country. And I'm glad that I do have an influence over some people that are not in America and stuff like that. It makes me feel very special. It makes me feel like, uh, you know, people want to hear what I have to say. And it's like, I don't know, it's just, all I do on this channel is just talk about music that I personally like. I'm not one of these type of people who just uh, constantly like searches out for this really weird shit and to review it and be like, hey, I'm better than you. You know, I don't, I don't like to do that shit. I just like to talk about things I'm into and just suggest some things that I think people should be listening to if they're not listening to them. And if you're already listening to them, then I hope you just have fun watching the video and me spewing about how much I like one of your favorite bands. You know, that's just uh, some fun shit for me. Hmm. Anyway, and what are some of your favorite 2014 movies so far? I went and saw Gone Girl about two nights ago, and that shit was fucking awesome! Holy shit! You know, if there's gonna be, like, a two and a half hour movie, that shit has got to be fucking entertaining. And it kept me engaged the whole time. I loved fucking Gone Girl. I thought it was great. I thought it was really fun. It was a really long movie, you know? And, uh, it kept me entertained for that long. I didn't even want it to end, really. I wanted it to keep going. I thought it was really good. So I thought that was awesome, and I also really enjoyed Godzilla. I went and saw the new Godzilla, that one still sticks out on my head. That just proves how good of a movie that is right there. Um, yeah, the new Godzilla was fucking awesome. I know people bitched and complained all the time. Godzilla wasn't knitted enough. Get, shut your fucking mouth, dude. Come on. Get, can, you, can you enjoy more than just a bunch of shit getting fucked up for fucking two hours or however long the damn movie was? How about a little bit of, you know, story? How about a little bit of character development? Is there an arc? I mean, like, people get used to this fucking age of, like, they go and see these uh, fucking Marvel superhero movies. They just want to see shit blow up for fucking two hours. It takes more than that for me. I'm sorry. That's why I thought Godzilla was fucking awesome. 
So I really like those two. Those really stick out in my head from this year, honestly. Um, love it. What's the most fucked up thing you've ever done <laughs> and regretted? Jeez. There's a lot, a lot of things that I regret. Nece fucked up, necessarily? I don't really have a whole lot of really good stories for that one. Nothing I've ever done have ever been really fucked up. I can tell you this guy's the story about the day the condom broke. Okay, so this is fucking funny as hell. I had, like, just moved into this apartment, okay? And I was fucking getting it on with my girlfriend, you know, as you do. This, this fucking album is, like, perfect for this. Fucking saxophone and shit. God, I love this album. Anyway, um, yeah, I was fucking, you know, banging it and all that shit. And then, like, uh, you know, the inevitable happens and I came or whatever the hell. And then I pull it out and then that fucking, you know, it's just like, it's flapped. It's like my cock is this and then the fucking thing is like, it's just dangling there. And we are fucking freaking out, okay? It's like, oh shit, we are fucked. So I'm just like, okay, well, th first thing first, we have got to go get plan B. We've well, got to go fucking get plan B because this shit is not good. But it's like, at this point, it's like 11 o'clock at night. And I'm just like, we can't go get this shit now. Not a single fucking drugstore is open. And Walmart does not have it. For you people over there in Europe or whatever, Walmart is like this big, huge, motherfucking 24-hour store that sells literally everything in the world. And I do not think they sell plan B. But, um, it doesn't matter. Even if they do... We were fucking stupid, <laughs> but whatever, it's okay. Because the next morning, she has to go to work really early the next morning. And so, <laughs> I wake up with her, and she goes to work. I go a little bit later and follow her to this, uh, to this Walgreens near her work or whatever. And I walk in there, they don't have the shit. And you feel embarrassed as fuck at the same time doing this, because I, they didn't have it there. I had to go across the street to another drugstore. And, uh, they had one left, and I felt so bad, I had to go up to the, to the dude behind the counter, do you have plan B? And I could just see, like, the thoughts in his mind as he was, like, getting it for me. He was like, oh, this little fucking punk-ass kid, he's not responsible enough to be that fucking something or whatever the fuck. You feel like a fucking loser asking for that shit, you know? Danielle was on the pill. I know what you guys are thinking. She was on the pill, but she just can't, she just can't remember to take the damn thing. So it's kind of all relying on condoms, my protection, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> so, I buy the shit. That's another thing. This shit is 50 fucking dollars. 50 dollars. A half of a hundred dollar bill. You know why that shit is priced at that? Because the company knows your ass fucking needs it when you fuck up. Because 50 dollars is fucking nothing comparing to, you know, taking care of a damn kid or whatever the fuck. So... <laughs> Whatever, we get this shit, I buy her a bottle of water too, I go to her work, and I have to sit there and wait until like her boss is out of sight for her to come out of the bakery she works at and take this one fucking pill, $50, you get this big fucking box, you open it up, it's a tiny ass little pill in the box. No fucking reason why the box should be that big. <laughs> Just to make you think you're actually getting your money's worth, I guess. So, you know, she takes the thing, and it says in the instructions, as long as you take it within three days of having unprotected sex, you're probably going to be fucking fine. You know, the chances are better the sooner you take it after you've had sex. So, whatever. It, 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 by this point at 11 o'clock, it had only been like seven or eight hours. So, we were fine. She's not pregnant. Everything's fine. This has been, you know, months and months ago. So, I know everything's good. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, a, that was pretty fucked up. That was a pretty intense day. It wasn't really something I regret, though. Well, I mean, I do regret that the condom broke and I had to spend $50 on one pill. But, you know, it was a necessary evil. Um, as of regretted, though, <laughs> you guys are like, man, where can he go from there? You know, he can't really go much farther. Um, other things I've regretted, you know, there's been some things that I've said to certain people and stuff like that that I think back on and I'm just like, man, I really shouldn't have said that shit. Or, uh... Certain things that I've done to certain people that I wish I had maybe handled a little bit differently just because I have kind of this explosive temper. A whole lot of my close friends know this about me. Um, I can be like your best friend of the world. I can be. I can be the coolest, calmest, collective dude in the world. But if you get on my bad side and piss me off, you fucking know it, asshole. 
That comes a whole lot from my past that I've mentioned in a few videos before, back when I lived in my other apartment. The one before, when I still lived with someone on YouTube. Um, I did a video talking about, um, talking about my past and how I was kind of bullied because I wasn't necessarily really good at sports and shit like that. So I just kind of have this weird, um, this weird thing about me where I don't really associate well with like sports and especially people who play sports, the athletic types, the jocks or whatever like that. I don't get along with those people. Still to this day, really. I'm, on, I'm not as... I'm not as dorky and weird as I was back when I was in elementary school, when I played fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, I was that weird-ass kid that took his dick to school every day. It was... I was such a fucking dweeb back in the day. But, uh, I got cool in high school, and I got sexy, and, um, it's all good now. Do you play drums? I do not play drums, but I wish I could play drums. I can keep a beat. You know, I can keep a simple beat. I can't really do any drum fills or it sounds really awkward. Like, same thing like when I'm playing rock band even, you know, like I'll just do like simple ass drum fills. I won't play it the whole time just because I don't know what to play. I don't know. I just wish I had, I wish I had the maneuverability to play drums. Can you do a review of Sting's Dream of the Blue Turtles for Classic Rock Review Week? I've never even heard of that album. I feel ashamed because I really do like Sting. So yeah, I'll have to check that out. Have you listened to any of the Trent Reznor soundtracks for Gone Girl, Social Network, and The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo? When I, I thought Gone Girl was amazing and I loved the music that was in that and The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, Trent Reznor's version of Immigrant Song by Led Zeppelin was fucking sick. Um, it wasn't as good as the original, obviously, but I still thought it was really good. Uh, Trent Reznor, he definitely has some talent to do those film soundtracks. I think it's great. Isn't this part sick? Do you watch Game of Thrones, and do you watch The Walking Dead? And if you do, what did you think of The Walking Deer Dead premiere on Sunday? Um... I do not watch Game of Thrones, not just because, not because I don't want to, but because I don't really have a way to watch it. I don't have HBO or any of that shit. Um, so, you know, whatever, I would if I could. Um, I know you can watch it online somewhere, probably, but... But I do watch The Walking Dead. I keep up with that shit constantly. I love The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead is sick. The same thing with Survival Instinct, that video game that stars that stars Daryl, not the Telltale point-and-click game, but the Daryl game. People said that's a terrible game. It's it's not good, I'll give it that, but it's still fun to play. I think it's still a fun game. But anyway, the season premiere was one of the best damn episodes that The Walking Dead has ever done. <laughs> it was the most satisfying season premiere for sure. I thought it was great. I thought it was one of the best Walking Dead episodes ever. Um, that was great. I cannot wait to see where this series goes. It's already been renewed for season six, which comes as no surprise to anyone, by the way, if you haven't heard. <laughs> but yeah, it's great. Have you listened to the album Mess by Liars? Yeah, I started listening to that, and I really liked what I heard. Um, I thought it was really, really good. Um, I think I kind of started listening to that Porter Robinson record, Worlds, um, when for my electronic e tinge stuff, but it was really good what I heard from it. I need to I need to do another listen to that. When did you first get into alternative and indie rock? Um I don't know, I guess I got into that type of stuff around the time I got into Vampire Weekend. Um yeah, you know, a little bit of that, and a little bit of, like, a, a little bit of Arcade Fire, I guess. Uh, yeah, I don't know. My very first, like, group that was an introduction to that type of stuff was Mute Math, even though they're not necessarily indie rock, but they were kind of, like, what opened my eyes to it. It wasn't, like, the normal things that you would think of, like Radiohead, because um, I can't really get into Radiohead, except for the album OK Computer. 
Um, I know people tell me I need to hear Kid A, and I do like parts of Kid A, but I don't know. Just a just personal preference there. Moonies, are you a fan of Daft Punk? If so, favorite album, song? Um, yeah, I mean, I really like the album Discovery, and I really like the album Random Access Memories. I still listen to Random Access Memories from time to time. For sure. Um... I'm not a, I'm not like a super fan of Daft Punk. I haven't really listened to Human After All or um, Homework really, except for a few key songs, kind of. Um, I really think Ram though is probably one of my favorite, just because I do enjoy all of the different styles of music that are happening on that album more than Discovery was just kind of a straight up club banging album, and there was a few songs on there that I thought were pretty repetitive. Um, but you know, I like the standard harder, better, faster, stronger, technologic, uh, fucking, you know, this just, just a few other things. Get Lucky was my jam, you know? Um, yeah, you know, Def Punk, they're cool. You look like Eddie K. Thomas, the guy who fucks Stifler's mom on American Pie. Thank you. I would I would love to bang Stepler's mom. And I think uh, I think Finch is one of the coolest fucking characters on there. He's the most calmest like down to earth character in American Pie. I like that about him. And yes, yeah, Stepler's mom is pretty hot. And do you like weird foreign films? No, not typically. I mean, I've watched a few foreign films. There was this one horror for foreign foreign film that I watched that was a scary movie or whatever. It took place in like an old an old hospital or some shit like that. But yeah, I just don't really like reading subtitles when watching a movie. That shit gets kind of old. Um, so whatever. Favorite David Fincher movie? Well, you know, I said I like On Girl. Um, hell, I like The Curious Case of Benjamin Button back in the day. Hang on one second. Um, I know Chris Stuckman on YouTube here. He's a movie reviewer that I watched. He, like, reviewed, like, all of the David Fincher movies. I can't remember them all right off the top of my head. I love how the first review that comes up when you type in his channel name is the Guardians of the Galaxy review, which I actually really liked, even though I'm not a huge fan of the Marvel movies or whatever the fuck. Guardians of the Galaxy was fun, though. Oh my god, I didn't... I forgot he did that. Yeah, The Zodiac. The Zodiac is fucking kick-ass. I love that movie. Once again, another really long movie that kept me entertained down to the last minute. I love The Zodiac. That was fucking awesome. Zodiac, that was a great movie. Um, yeah, Fight Club. Uh, <laughs> let's see... So yeah, yeah, that's uh, that'll work. Yeah, he's a he's he's cool, man. He makes some good movies. He's got that he's got that kind of dark, edgy style to him, or whatever. All right. Favorite Killers album? Mine is Sam's Town. Sam's Town is good. <laughs> but uh, honestly, I really like Day and Age. Um, unpopular opinion, I know. People always say that you know, like Hot Fuzz is their best album. And I like Hot Fuzz too. I like the Killers. The Killers are a great band. I just like Day and Age. I like the little, you know, I like this stuff like this that's in it. The horns, the weird tabla drums, the cool melodies. And I just thought a lot of the songs on there were just really neat. So yeah, I really like, I really like Day and Age by the Killers. I absolutely hated Battleborn. I still cannot get into Battleborn to this day. Favorite Muse album. I'm one of those rare people who I honestly thought that their later days were better than their rock days because I thought Muse got a little bit more original with their sound or whatever. And I know this new album that they're coming out with next year is going to kind of return back to their older sound, like Absolution, like you said. Because everybody says that Origin of Symmetry is like their best album. And I do like Origin of Symmetry or whatever. Um, but I, I like Black Holes and Revelations and The Second Law. <laughs> um... The Second Law constantly pops up on my iPod, and I just, I fucking love The Second Law. <coughs> I can't wait for the new, I can't wait for the new Muse album. 
Kings of Leon. Um, I don't really listen to Kings of Leon. I can't really give you an album there. What's the first album that you ever bought? I know the first album I ever got was a copy of Weird Al Yankovic's Running With Scissors album. First album I ever bought with my own money, though? It'd definitely have to be Blink-182's Greatest Hits or uh, Good Charlotte's The Young and the Hopeless. Um, it would have to be one of those. <laughs> what advice would you give to someone who wants to start doing their own album reviews? P.S. Love the vids. Thank you very much, good sir. Uh, you want advice to start doing your old album reviews? Okay, well, do the exact opposite of everything I'm doing, because I am fucking it up. <laughs> Backwards and forwards, left and right, stop fucking it up. Um, yeah, listen to a shit ton of albums as they come out, because albums fucking, they will fly at your fucking face every week. There's a new damn album out. And you just gotta constantly keep listening to music. And th that's why the quality of my videos is getting lower and lower and lower. I cannot keep up with the amount of shit that comes out, okay? And there's some things that I'm simply just not interested in listening to that people want me to talk about. Um, besides that, though, because that's kind of the formula that everybody goes by, there's another way you can look at it that I makes myself feel better just because I'm a lousy fucking... YouTuber at doing album reviews. Um, just really enjoy and appreciate all different types of music. Don't just be like one of these niche people who listens to like one or two genres and like talks about that shit all the fucking time. I tried to expand on that a little bit when I was listening to all them old music and I did that video on country music and that Dwight Yoakam album because you know just kind of expand your kind of expand your horizons and listen to shit that you don't think you would normally listen to and get into a whole lot of different types of things. I mean, like, listen to some fucking, like, African drum shit, you know? Like, <laughs> listen to some original-ass Chinese music from, like, the 1840s or what the fuck. You know, like, really, really delve into the musical realm because it's been, it's so much more than everything that we hear now. And people don't really think about that shit. I have to spin the record. Hang on one second. Anyway, so like I said, just keep listening to a bunch of different stuff, you know? Really develop a... This is the wrong word to use for this, but become a fucking hipster. Okay? Like, really, really fucking delve into shit, you know? Like, get down deep. Dig deep into the musical world and find shit that you just think is amazing. Do you like the White Stripes? Yes, I like the White Stripes. Um, preferably their album Elephant. Um, but you know, I'm not a huge White Stripes fan. I've been a whole lot bigger fan of like Jack White's solo stuff lately. Um, I need to listen to more White Stripes. Just one of those bands that kind of just slip out of my mind constantly until someone reminds me of them. Because I do like the type of music the White Stripes play. You know, if I if I enjoy bands like Little Hurricane and the Black Keys, there's no reason why I can't enjoy them. What got you into Gorillaz? The music video for Feel Good Inc. I remember it was 2005, and I was just about to um, enter high school. I saw the music video for Feel Good Inc., and I was just like, oh man, that shit is fucking cool. And you see, I had no idea at the time that the band were the cartoon characters that were on there. I just thought it was a cool-ass music video for this group, or whatever. So, you know, I bought Demon Days, and... Uh, Kind of just developed the love to him from there. If you could, if your house was on fire and you could only save five albums, what five albums would you save? Oh my god, I hate these damn questions. Okay, well, uh, Gorillaz, Demon Days. The main three Gorillaz albums. Shit. That's really limiting now. Um... The first, no, hang on, shit. I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna have to let some Gorillaz albums burn. I can't just listen to fucking Gorillaz all the time. I would definitely save Demon Days just because that was the inspiration for everything that you've watched so far. The White Album by the Beatles, um, with the Beatles, their second album, um, Air's Moon Safari. 
And, um... Shit, dude, I don't know. KG Elephant's Millophobia or Caravan Palace's self-titled? It is hard to pick. <laughs> just throwing some albums out there that I think are amazing. If you haven't heard any of those albums that I just mentioned, go listen to them. What vinyl are you planning on buying next, or what vinyl do you really want? You're not allowed to mention the Beatles mono box set, by the way, if you are planning on buying more vinyl. The thing with me is all I do is I go into record stores and I just flip through shit. And when I find something, I'm just like, oh, fuck, I gotta buy that. <laughs> All of these albums that I've been showing you guys recently have kind of been like that. Um, you know, I found a copy of uh, Thin Lizzy's Jailbreak the other day. And I bought it for $5. And then my friend Charlie bought it back off of me for $5. So I had the album for like a day. But it was a copy of Thin Lizzy's Jailbreak, and that was fucking sick. Um, so yeah, I really want that. I would like to get a copy of the Beatles' Yellow Submarine soundtrack just so that I can complete my Beatles 13 album set when I do get that mono box set. Just so I can have all of the all of the Beatles albums, all 13 of them, even though I don't even care about the Yellow Submarine soundtrack that much, I will pay the $23 just to have it on new vinyl. I'm fucking stupid, I know. But, uh, yeah, I just kind of, you know, just one of those people that just flips through. I've really kind of gotten everything that I've wanted. I really wanted the American Graffiti soundtrack. I got that. I wanted Steve Miller Band's Fly Like an Eagle. I got that. That's really cool. You know, like, listening to old music on vinyl, it just, it's like, takes you back in time, you know? These albums that come out today are all digital, digital fucking releases and shit like that, and I just don't feel like that those albums come out with vinyl in mind, so I don't see a whole lot of a point in buying new music on vinyl. And, and, you know, you just buy the CD for new music. That's just how I look at it. I mean, I know a lot of people like to listen to new music on vinyl. That's why it still comes out. And vinyl's making a big return. But, you know, it just doesn't have that classic old dusty fucking wrinkled vibe to it. I don't know. What the fuck? Sorry, another question. Never be sorry. These Q&As... If you were one single person and you ask like 15 questions, I don't give a fuck, <laughs> you know? Ask as many questions as you want, buddy. I know you're not a big U2 fan. No, I'm not. I really don't. I didn't even listen to that damn free album that just popped up on my fucking phone. Um, are there any particular songs that you like or respect from them? Well, yeah. I mean, like, I really like the song One and Vertigo. Yeah, 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 yeah! You know, I still love the hell out of that shit. And, okay, I'll lie. I do like the song that they're playing on the damn commercials for that free album that they released. That's really cool. So yeah, there are a few U2 songs I like, and I really like The Saints Are Coming that they did with Green Day a few years back. That was a really cool cover. Have you seen Gone Girl yet? If you haven't, definitely see it. Yeah, I've seen it. It was sick. What's your favorite Beatles song? I don't know. I, I, can't, I can't answer this question. I can't, I can't, I can't answer this question. You're Gonna Lose That Girl came to mind. You're Gonna Lose That Girl is definitely one of my favorite Beatles songs. One of them. <sighs> Do you think if Brian Epstein didn't die when he did that the Beatles would have been together longer? I heard his death was what really broke them apart. Brian Epstein was known as like the fifth Beatle or whatever back in the day. Um, so, you know, I don't know. Because the band was kind of tearing themselves apart as time went on. They just started getting sick of each other. Um, but, you know, anything's possible. I mean, like he was, like I said, he was regarded as the fifth Beatle, so who knows what he could have um, he could have inspired, you know? Hang on one second. I'm going to refresh this because that was the last question, but I want to make sure I can get as many as I can before I end this shit. Oh, wait, I have three more questions that I didn't get answered. Do you like Rise Against? Not really. I know that album that came out last year, everybody was going crazy about it, but I still didn't listen to it. Do you get annoyed when people ask for your favorite song by a band? 
I don't get annoyed, like I don't get mad, I just I just can't feel like I can honestly answer the question. Because there's just so many, you know, if you're asking me like what, one of my favorite bands, what's your favorite song by them, you know. They're my favorite band for the reason because I like a lot of their songs. So it's just, it's just hard for me to answer, that's all I really get annoyed about. Top 10 favorite Blur songs, they don't have to be in order. This is one of those questions I was just talking about. I mean, yeah, you're giving me 10 songs, but my god, there's obviously some songs I'm gonna have to leave out of this. Um, hang on a second, let me just make sure that there's no more in here. Alright, I'm sorry if you didn't get your question answered and you were, you were too late. This is the I just refreshed it once. I swear to god, I thought I had a playlist. All right, I'll just give you the top ten songs that are on my favorite, my uh, a Blur Best Of. I took all the Blur albums and put together an entire list of my favorite songs from each album. It's 51 songs, and it's three hours and 30 minutes long. <laughs> uh, hang on, let me see if I can refresh. Uh... Okay, that doesn't do anything. Never mind. I meant Shuffle. Okay, the first... Ten songs on this list are Beetlebum, Song 2, On Your Own, You're So Great, Bang, There's No Other Way, I Know, The Extended Mix, For Tomorrow, Advert, and Colin Zill. Um, for shits and giggles, I'll just give you the second ten, so you can have two options there. Star Shaped, Blue Jeans, Chemical World, Sunday Sunday, Miss America, Villa Rose, Pop Scene, Young and Lovely, and Girls and Boys. As you can tell, I really like the Modern Lo Life is Rubbish album. I think the Modern Life is Rubbish album is really, really good. Um, so yeah, there's there's a few for you. There's, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna tell you this entire list. <laughs> ah, okay. Here we go. We're on number twenty. So, End of a Century, Park Life, To the End, Trouble in the Messes Center, Jubilee, Super Shoppa. Stereotypes, Country House, Charmless Man, The Universal, It Could Be You, Strange News from Another Star, All Your Life, Tinder, Coffee and TV, B-L-U-R-E-M-I, Mellow Song, Trailer Park, Caramel, Trim Trab, No Distance Left to Roam, So You, Music Is My Radar, Out of Time, Good Song, Caravan, Sweet Song, Jets, Jean by Jean, Better in Your Leg, Ultranol, and Inertia. Those are just my top Blur songs that I really, really love. So, there you go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little spontaneous Q&A. We will do it again pretty soon. I love making Q&A videos for you guys just because I think they're so much fun to make. I love telling stories to you guys. I love just talking to you guys. I love making long videos. I love listening to records with you guys. And, uh, yeah, they're just fun videos to make. So get off my ass if you don't like them. So, yeah, uh, I guess I will see you guys again some other time soon. I love you guys. Tell your friends to subscribe. Thank you for all the new subscribers that have came along within this little hiatus that I've had lately. Um, you guys are the best, so thank you once again. Mr. Money1235, I'll see you guys later.